The, the comeback of cotton, quite refreshing news there. Well, we now want to get into our usual segment that happens every Wednesday, and that is Entrepreneurship 101. And we tell the journey of an entrepreneur, and we shall be speaking to Jeff Njau, who is a resident business coach. And uh, many thanks for always honoring to be with us. Always a pleasure. Karibu sana. Sante. And uh, Jeff, last time you were here, we talked about sources of financing for entrepreneurs. Yes. We talked about SACOs, mm -hmm. we've talked about savings, mm -hmm. we talked about how people can uh, fundraise mm -hmm. from a domestic level. Sure. Today we've had an interesting chat on SACO and we were having with the, the Molimo National SACO CEO, sure, Alphonse. Sure, sure, sure. And he's quite uh, bullish saying that uh, they're likely not to see SACOs converting to become banks because mm. circles have to serve a social need. Mm. What is the place of this for entrepreneurs? Um, actually, the, the conversation with the, the, the interview you just had with the CEO of Malimu, Malimu is doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. They're actually becoming almost bigger than some of the tier two banks and it's getting banks to be very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I work in, uh, I consult for some banks and a good number of circles, and I know the space that Mualimu is mm -hmm. currently occupying. Um, Sacos are a good space for easy capital, for easier availability of capital, mm -hmm. because they, they are less stringent in the requirements mm -hmm. uh, as it were for uh, a business person to, to, to ask for money. Yeah. And we, we always have the conversation of our friend Njoro. Mm. Uh, and the question that you always ask me is, what will Njoro do when he's looking for, for some cash for his, for his car wash? Correct. Uh, um, would he go to the bank? There's a good probability if he's not very well established, he might slow down. Mm. But there's some probability that he might be saving in a little way, maybe in a smaller circle, not like Mualimu, maybe a localized circle near where he operates. Sure. But in the event that that's not the option, there is an option of taking venture capital. Venture capital is where you look for someone who has interest in that line of a business and you split some of your shareholding uh, and uh, give him some of the shareholding that would have been yours instead of you owning the whole business alone this particular party comes in and picks a piece of your shares and uh, in return he helps you uh, with liquidity with money to help you grow the business it's it's not been a very uh, common thing in Africa, but slowly by slowly it's growing. There are programs even here in KTN that have been encouraging that. Uh, we have Lions Den mm. locally that's uh, supported by KCB. Sure. Um, and it's it's a concept growing. One of the big uh, avenues that people have seen in the public domain is the big program Lions Den, um, mm. Shark Tank, Shark Tank mm. which is the international franchise of the same whereby you, you pitch your business to a series of investors and the investors would apply and uh, would uh, apply themselves and invest in the business. Interesting. Yeah. And Jeff, uh, looking at the SME landscape, we yeah. have uh, different uh, aspects around venture capitalism yes. where some people might not really understand this concept yes. because we might find uh, I'm an SME like Njoro who has a cow running but you want to expand it. You've yes. been making good money. Then I come and pitch and tell yes. you, Joro, I see a big uh, opportunity in your business. Mm. Can I put in 100,000 for 50, 50 share whenever mm. we get a return? Yes. You find people thinking twice about it. Ah. It's easy to get a business partner than having a venture capitalist. Mm. What do SMEs and entrepreneurs need to know when it engaging with a venture capitalist so that to avoid being shortchanged? Um, actually, I am a product of venture capital. Early in the day when I started business, I sold my company for, uh, I sold 75% of shareholding of my first company to uh, uh, another company and got a bit of money. And I was younger then, so I made mm -hmm. many mistakes and it ended up badly. And so those are some of the lessons I want to give. When you're going out to sell the business, one, you need to know who you're selling the business to. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I got a lot of money at the beginning, but uh, you always need to know that if you're selling your business, you will be 
in bed sort of with this uh, business for with these people you're selling to for the long haul. Mm -hmm. So due diligence is very important. Sure. Due diligence on both parties. Mm -hmm. Who are you selling the business to? Uh, those lions, those sharks that you're selling to do a bit of digging to find out about them because they'll do a dig, some bit of digging about you. Sure. Uh, so on your end as an entrepreneur, do digging on who you want to sell the business to. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing, due diligence. The second thing is interest. Mm. You always want to sell to someone who has interest in that very space. Sure. If someone is in the food space, uh, you want, if you, if you're looking for an investor in the food, in food industry, don't look for someone who is in clothes or who is in mining. Mm. Look for someone who can add value, who can add intellectual capital to your business. So look for someone who is in that general space and might want to. Then the next thing, which is a big risk, and I've seen it happen here uh, in Kenya, especially for those who are in the tech business. You see, tech people, artists, uh, architects, they are rough on the edges. They live a, a bit more of a not structured life. Someone will argue that they are a bit more carefree. Yeah. So you always <coughs> need to know if you're getting into a venture capital arrangement, know your numbers, even if you're an arts person. Because sometimes you sell your idea to these guys and they edge you off. So always remember that the principles of business will never, you have to understand them. Know okay. your numbers. Okay. Know what percentage of business that uh, you're selling. Remember, you can always be edged out from, you can always be edged out from the business, mm -hmm. from the perspective of the shareholding. Mm. So always have your legals in check. Always remember, by the time you're signing on that dotted line, yes. understand uh, what you're signing in. There are many advantages of venture capital, but always ensure